This is part one of the Cloudworks basic series. After you install Cloudworks, you will see a tab appear in the ribbon of the CAD program you are using. We will be doing the Cloudworks videos using AutoCAD Civil 3D, but the tools and features you will see demonstrated are the same in any of the CAD programs that offer Cloudworks as a plugin. So just to get familiar with the layout of Cloudworks, there are 10 panels available to view within the ribbon. You can right click in the panel and choose which panels you want displayed. This will allow you to hide panels of tools you aren't using to make the ribbon less congested and easier to find tools you are using. So getting started on a project, we're going to need to use the project panel. This is the panel we're going to use to open our point cloud data and manage our projects. Cloudworks is not a registration software, so you will need to open a point cloud that has already been properly registered using Cyclone Register or Cyclone Register 360 if you're sending data from a BLK, an RTC 360, or a P-Series. Or you might even be registering with Infinity if you are sending scan data from the MS-60. Ideally, you would want to have the LGS file or Jetstream capability for the fastest handling of point clouds in Cloudworks. But you can also use model space from Cyclone Core IMP files. There is also a drop down arrow which will give you options to open an HXML file straight from a multi station or from Infinity. Under that option, you are able to connect to an RCP file. We'll be using LGS and can open by hitting this button and then setting the units appropriately and then browsing to select the LGS file. You will then need to type the AutoCAD command zoom then extents to have the point cloud appear in view. Now that the point cloud data is loaded, a Cloudworks project is automatically created. So we can save the Cloudworks project or use Save As to name the project and give it a location. It is important to note that the point cloud is only viewed in CAD and not saved to the CAD file. All the data extracted, like 3D line work, is saved to the CAD file. And on that note, we will conclude part one of Cloudworks Basic. Please look for the next videos coming in the series.